Hi folks, Breadmeister here. Now we're going to explore the world of large format baking. What I've done is I've put all my dry ingredients in a five gallon bucket. In it are 8,800 grams of flour, 200 grams of salt, 136 grams of sugar, and 104 grams of yeast. This will fill my 30 quart mixer and obviously requires a scale at this level of production. Over here, we're going to add 17 quarts of water. That's an approximate number, depending on the flour you use, and a half a cup of oil. Everything into the tub. This is a 30-quart mixer, and I'm making a batch that'll make 27 loaves of bread. Happens to be perfect for my size wood-fired oven. All my ingredients are in. At a later time, I'm going to show you with uh, Ruby Red over here how to make a more applicable batch size for you uh, at home. All right, the dough is proofed. It's been sitting for an hour and a half after the mixer. This is a big batch, it's out of a 30 quart mixer, so it's two buckets. I've lightly floured my countertop. I'm going to shape the dough into a uniform shape. I'm just folding it into itself so I can cut it into sizes. I'm going to be making a one pound loaf. So this is what I've made. Nice little log. Okay, I'm ready to start shaping the dough. One pound loaves, got lucky. I pull it inward. Got lucky. These cut in half should be about a pound. And I'm pulling it inward so I have a flat bottom. Just folding it inward. Is good. I'm grabbing my first ball. I'm putting it onto a clean countertop. That's the part that was sitting on the granite. I come down, I fold my sides in, the top in. I'm going to squeeze it and pinch it off along the top. On the ends, two or three rolls. I'm pushing down kind of hard to smash it all together. Then into the flour. This is a baker's board, lightly floured. I got it set up so I can hold 27 loaves, which allows me two trips out to the oven. It's a little heavy, a little awkward, but it's great. Pinch off the top. The ends, flip, and roll. The dough is shaped. Let's proof the dough a second time. We're gonna take our baker's board, spin them over to here. These will take 20 minutes after they're complete. 20 to 30 minutes to proof them. And I'll cover them up with my proofing towel. You already know what that is. This one's custom made. We're going to cut the dough. I'll 
sharp razor is always nice. I should have a garden sprayer for this, but I'm wetting the dough down. Create some steam in the oven. As you can see, there's no room for a pan of water. <laughs> remove the bread from the oven. Of course, it started to rain. So now we have one more challenge. 